We absolutely loved working with PC Williams, the costume designer. She had this really cool vision for all the characters. It was magical. The color choices that she made, everything is so bright and vibrant. <laughs> she really was able to tell each character's story through their clothing. That feels really special. It's such an important part of getting into character. Hello, Focus Fashion fans, and welcome back to Dress, the series that celebrates the costumes of Focus Features films. Today, we are diving into the colorful and action-packed world of Polite Society. Polite Society is the feature debut for writer-director Nita Menzor. The film follows Rhea Khan, played by Priya Kansara, a spirited schoolgirl and martial artist in training who dreams of becoming a stunt woman. <laughs> That was dope, though. When her sister Lena, played by Ritu Arya, drops out of art school and becomes engaged. Lena, it's a trap. Oh my god, Rhea, chill out. Rhea believes she and her friends must stage an ambitious wedding heist to protect her from a nefarious plot and save her big sister's independence. We need to get Lena out. How? Mischief is afoot. <laughs> this film is filled with contrasting styles and colors from modern day London streetwear to vibrant and ornate South Asian formal wear. Et cetera, et cetera. So if I'm gonna start talking about the costumes from Polite Society, I have to start with the school uniform. Affirmative. And this may not be the typical uniform that London girls wear to school, but I can tell you they needed this for mobility with all of that kicking and flying. <laughs> Let's talk about spy gear. When Clara was spying on the potential husband, they're not wearing anything cloak and dagger. He's heading back to the changing rooms. We need to abort mission. I love this modern day London streetwear and what kids are wearing and bright colors and the fun of it all. I've got my eye on you. Look how beautiful this is. This is the one worn by Rahila to her son's wedding. Wow. Look at the gold, the embroidery, the color, the pop. And as a future mother-in-law or monster-in-law or villain-in-law. You little bitch. This is not what you traditionally think a villain would show up in. Oh. Rude. Okay, so let's talk about the dress that Lena wore to the Eid celebration. And wow, while this dress may not pop with a vibrant color, it is popping with the vibrancy of its details. And if you look at this closely, all of the gold, the embroidery, the filigree, each button, the sequins, the shine, so much attention to detail. And of course, the accompanying shawl with all of the details to match this dress. It is so beautiful. All of these costumes made me want to learn more about it. And I actually have a surprise. I got to visit the set and speak to PC Williams, the costume designer, about all of these clothes. So, like, chatting. Yeah, like verbiage. Thank you for sitting down with me. So, PC, let me ask you, when you started with this movie, what did the director discuss that she wanted out of the characters in terms of the costumes? What's great about working with Nida is that she places a lot of trust in the HOD's individual ideas, right? It's less of, oh, this is what I'm seeing. But it's more like, what do you want to do, P? Tell me what you're thinking. And then she leans into that. So I want to ask you about the school uniforms that Rhea and her friends wear. What was the thought process in that when you were designing it? I wanted you to remember the school uniforms when you saw them. But also, I specifically try to make all these young girls so far from sexy. There are so many different ways that you can like inhabit your womanhood, you know? And you're 16, like, enjoy being a kid. Two, three, click. <laughs> Virgins. So I wanted to do a uniform that was kind of dowdy, but also punchy. And I feel like the grey, which is like such a London grey, with that poppy red in the socks and the sleeves. And then when you see it in the fights and all those pleats just move and you're creating movement on camera, I think you get something that people will remember the modern day London contemporary looks, they were equally as important for me in the movie. Yay! Rhea and her friends has such strong individual style. How did you approach those contemporary looks? You get to question a lot of stereotypes. 
Celine. And do so on a scale where others who might feel like on fringes of society can tap into. You know, like Clara and her hunk rock emo style. That is something that like loads of second and third generation children whose parents are from the African continent will be like, oh, there are other girls like me, you know? So let's talk about the wedding scene because it is such a huge scene in the movie and I love it so much. What was the inspiration behind the looks and the color schemes that you wanted for that particular scene? I wanted it to be jewel tone, rich. When I first read it, it made me think of like Nigerian weddings. And Nigerian weddings, the bride's family were all the same color and the groom's family were all the same color. So you can tell which side of the family you're coming to celebrate. And when I read that, I was like, wouldn't it be cool if we use that idea? And so we went with like blues and greens for Rhea and her family. And then we did like yellow, orange, reds and pinks for Rahila's family. Don't you clean up nice. Likewise. Okay, so PC, I want to actually ask you about Rahila. I mean, she's such a strong character. How did you approach designing for her character? She's so badass, right? She's such a villain, but you never see villains in pink. So to take that and flip it and do it on a villain and make it a cross between like a superhero costume and a modern Southeast Asian costume with like this flowing cape. So you have all this movement when we have like the fight scenes it was just perfect. I love how you chose pink for a villain. You know, that actually reminds me, like we use that saying all the time, not all heroes wear capes and really maybe not all villains wear black. Yeah, she's been wicked. <laughs> And Lena was such an interesting character too in terms of costume design. We saw a real style evolution. How did you approach that? How do you have someone grow in their style throughout the entire movie? I kind of wanted to take us on this journey and just show how like, as she starts dating and she starts morphing into this version of a Stepford wife, what does that look like? Why are you wearing a cardigan? You don't wear cardigans. Rhea, shut up. So we started with black hoodie from this small designer in Pakistan and her walking down with the duck and then we end on this beautiful embroidered wedding gown. No one can see you till the big reveal. Those are all sides of Lena that don't quite marry. Run! I'm really proud of this project and I hope that like people watch it and they get what we've done, you know? PC, thank you so much for taking the time. I love hearing your creative process behind all of these amazing costumes. Thank you. Well, these are two of my very favorite dresses from the entire film. And of course, they were both in the wedding scene. I feel like I'm standing in the middle of a very opulent jewel box. And of course, they're inspired by South Asian formal wear. Here we go. I want to start with this one. We saw Rhea wear this in the wedding scene, which is so incredible. We've heard the costume designer, PC Williams, say that she was very inspired by jewel tones. So this green was incredibly important to her. All the gold filigree embroidery, all of this detailing in it is so incredible from the shawl to the gown to the headdress. Rhea started this scene in this gown in an incredible dance sequence, but that's not how it ended. <laughs> she was kicking, flying, and she was just a badass in this gown and doing it beautifully the entire time. And of course, Lena's wedding dress. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's delicate. The tool with all of this embroidery, all of this attached jewelry, a headdress, and even this veil, shawl, all of this looks so delicate, but it is so incredibly detailed. Every single pearl and shine that's been attached to this and done by hand. And I'm gonna tell you right now that this dress may look light as a feather. No. But it is heavy. <laughs> well, cheers to these actresses for looking so beautiful being our new type of superheroes. And of course, to costume designer PC Williams for making them look so elegant while they're doing it all. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Dressed and, of course, a beautiful array of costumes from the movie Polite Society. I can't wait to join you guys all again next time. Until then.